What's up guys? We're back in fitness culture. It's been long overdue since I've gotten a workout in here. Today we're gonna to be jumping into our newest program in the fitness culture app. It's a four week program. It's actually gonna be starting by the time you guys see this video, you will be able to sign up for it. It basically takes you right up until Christmas Eve and it's gonna be the overreaching program. So four weeks designed to almost get you into an overtrained state. Overreaching means tons of volume. We're working out twice a day. I want you guys in a caloric surplus. I'm gonna be doing this myself. I'm looking to gain five to 10 pounds. Monday, which is today, we're in here hitting push. Morning, it's gonna be a chest workout. Coming back later for shoulders and triceps. Tomorrow, it's gonna to be pull. We go push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, and everything designed, an AM workout and a PM workout. So all together, we're gonna to be working about 90 minutes to two hours depending upon the day. So when you guys jump into this program, I want you guys to realize what you're signing up for. This is designed to be something that we do for a short period, four weeks is all. We're giving it our all, and then we have a designed one week period that is for rest only. So from Christmas time till January 1st, we are resting, we are enjoying that food, we're enjoying time with family, knowing that we put work in. We gave 100% of the gym for these last four weeks, we're gonna jump into it right now. You're gonna see what we're gonna be doing today. My whole goal, I'm gonna go from about 208, 209 to 215 in that period. I'm gonna be getting big, I'm gonna be getting strong. Let's do this. All right guys, you guys have been asking for the Vinyl Gorilla. He's back, we're in fitness culture, and we basically sat down. We wanted to develop a program that not only got you stronger, but bigger. And really, we took it back to old school days when Jake was getting ridiculously strong in college and, and we kind of sat down and talked about what programs work the best for us and it, we really came up with this push, pull, leg split and then also how we structure the workout. So the first lift, five sets of five. Five by five. Yeah, so push, pull, legs, that's how it's gonna be. The reason that's good too in an overreaching program is that it gives you enough time to recover in between body parts. So that's why I've kind of set it up that way. And then we're gonna start every day we want you to get strong and bigger from this program. So every day is gonna be, we're gonna be going back to the basics, just five by five, trying to kind of hit your threshold RPE of around eight to nine on that last set every day. And then as we go down through the day, we're gonna be increasing the amount of reps you do per set, right? So like the next set we'll be doing four sets of eight, and then we'll work down to the last exercise being four sets of 12 to 15. Again, these days are designed two a days. They're, they're full on training an hour at least twice a day. So strap it up again. This isn't for the faint of heart. This isn't for everyone. Get in a caloric surplus. We're gonna jump into the first set of bench press here. We're starting off with an incline. We both agree that hey, I love doing incline first, really focusing on that upper pec. And if you're gonna get stronger at incline, your overall bench is gonna get stronger. Now we do switch it up later on in the week. We do some more flat benching, but uh, let's just jump into it. Let's just do the damn thing. We're in fitness culture. It's good energy here. Let's see if what we get for five sets of five. All right, guys, one of the things I want to ask Jake about, he's an elite bench presser, is when you bench, what are your cues? What are you thinking about core, chest? You know, uh, we talked about bending the bar. For people out there that have never really, you know, a lot of people come on the channel, want to know like, okay, hey, I want to bench better or more effective. I want to get my chest. Yeah. A lot of times we let the anterior delts take over. What are you thinking about when you set up? Because you engage your lats, you know, you, you bend the bar. I think that's like the, for me, the biggest thing that made it so I could, Bust through a plateau is number one, hitting the same spot every time. Yep. Like the bar path is the exact same every time, but then setting into that to keep that same bar path. So a lot of people are just lazy on the bench when they set up. So yeah, when you set up, what, what's your first cue? I'm just gonna crawl my shoulder blades down the bench. Crawling your shoulder blades. Not back. necessarily like try to set up with a huge arch. Right. Just crawl down like this. Just like and you're, you're actively engaging the last yeah, there. Exactly. Then. And then externally rotate. So when I'm here, that's the bend the bar. Up, I'm gonna be here. Yep. Instead of being here. So try to like bend the bar in half behind you when you set up, so you have a nice elbow path. So your basically your wrist is going to be stacked yep. directly over your elbow, where a lot of people, and you know, it's going to really not let you use your chest as well or your triceps is when this happens. Yep. And all of a sudden your anterior delts start yeah. taking yeah. over. Anterior delts take over. You really don't have much too, engagement here. We're not as strong in our anterior delts than we are when we start activating lats, getting the chest nice and high. Really, if you just think about too, if you set up like this, and try to flex your lats, yep. with your arms here. You can get a good contraction. 
If you try to flex your last here, you can't really do much down here at all, right? Yeah, yep. And so you don't really have that. It's like a, it's like setting up with a bench shirt on yep. with your lats, you know? Keep it tight into your lat. That's what I try to think about. It's gonna explode you out of the bottom. Almost like that. that rubber band. Yeah, exactly. Guys, just like anything else, I've learned this whether you're swinging a golf club or shooting a basketball, there are certain techniques. Now, every might, everyone might have grips a little bit different, a little bit wider, a little bit narrow, depending on how tall you are, how long your arms are. But there are cues that when you are bench pressing, you want to try to, again, set up the same time, the same way every single time. Bar path we're talking about, setting it up nice. So when you think about this, don't just go through the motions. Get set up, realize mind muscle connection. People say that a lot, but really what we're doing there, it's purposeful lifting. It's not just moving weight for the sake of moving weight. It's purposeful lifting with the right muscle groups. All right, we got four sets of eight. Neutral grip, dumbbell. Why do you yeah. like doing these as opposed to double arm? Because of the st stability. Stability. Yeah, because I feel like, again, like one of the things that took my bench to the next level, I plateaued at like 420 in college. And right when I got into college, I couldn't yeah. get above it. And I used to get on like an incline bench and just be all over the place with the dumbbells. Just learning to set in. That's why I like to go neutral grip on this and to stabilize. So like every time at the top, lock out yep. with intention, hold it for a count yeah. before you come back down. Instead of just like wrapping it out like this, I think it really helps the stability. Definitely. Translates to that barbell bench press too. When yeah. you guys get on and do this for the first time, you'll see exactly what Jake's talking about with that stability. They're gonna feel all over the place. But all of a sudden, basically it's an exaggeration of how we want you guys to be when you're barbell benching. By, by forcing you guys to do a single arm dumbbell bench where it's all over the place, it gets you to really focus in and, and be able to create that intentional movement that you can get away with if you're not super tight on a, on a barbell, um, but you can't really get away with on a single arm neutral grip dumbbell press. So yeah. by doing this right, you're gonna get better at the barbell bench. So one of the things you'll also see throughout this workout is single arm or single leg movements, just isolateral stuff. Just because anything else in any other exercise you do, if you can't perform a rep properly with one arm, you're not gonna be able to do it when you load up a bar on your back or on a bench press and do it with two. One's gonna overcompensate and that's where we end up getting hurt, having physique weaknesses, just all around it's a bad idea. So incorporating isolateral movements into your workouts, into our program, we do this so we make sure that we're able to perform. This is, this is an exercise that will, again, lead to benefits when we do load up a bar for a bench press max. When we do a Bulgarian split squat, we're not only getting strong, but we're also stabilizing, proprioception, moving in space. So these are always why we do those things. And really, even if you're not following this workout, you should always try to include those into your workout. We got dips for chest. You'll notice my angle of attack is a little bit different. I'll also get a good stretch, but I won't come quite out to lockdown. That's gonna be more of the tricep. So we got sets, four sets here, 10, 10, eight, eight. All right, guys, this is where the volume starts creeping in, becoming a factor. It's our fourth lift here. We got one more here. So the last compound exercise for chest today. All right, guys, last exercise for chest. You made it. Our fifth exercise, a high to low cable fly. Take a step forward, take a nice stretch position, and then as we come forward, we're actually gonna supinate our hands just, just slightly, keeping that angle on the elbow joint the same throughout the movement. Mate, that is a good pump right there. We were just talking about that word, how people use different words, so I'm gonna start using it, bring it to the US. Mate, Mate that's a good pump. <laughs> Key is when you're light, 206, wait until the very end when you get a good pump to make you look bigger to take your shirt off. But that's it for our first workout of the day. We'll be back in here about six hours to hit the second workout. Again, push day. So we got anterior delt, some lateral raises, 
as well as some tricep exercises. So total of 10, 10 to 11 movements I'll have to check out the workout. But this workout again, low reps at the beginning, creeping up the reps, a lot of volume today. We will be hitting chest as a secondary muscle group essentially. It won't be the primary focus in a later workout this week. So coming back later on tonight, we will see you there. That's it for this first one.